Hi guys, what are you doing standing there? Come on into the workshop, let's see what project we've got for this week. Come on. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's uh, had a good week and everybody's well. I was having a bit of a tidy out this week in the evenings and I came across this. It's a piece of zebra wood. I bought it when I first started turning, so it's nearly a year ago now, but I've never really been confident enough to have a go at it. The reason being is because we all know that blanks are expensive and I didn't want to ruin it. So now that I've got a bit more experience, I'm going to give it a bash. I'm hoping we can turn it into a nice little ornamental bowl. So uh, let's get it on the lathe and see what we come up with. Alright guys, what we'll do is, we'll get it round, and then we'll uh, shape the bottom, cut a tenon in there, flip it, get it in the chuck, bish bash bosh. Right, let's get sorted. smell of that oh you can't can you silly me it's got like a strange smell like a manure smell it's not a nice smell at all it's a good job you guys can't smell it really right got it round so let's get the bottom sorted get it flattened out and uh, get a tenon cut in there so we can get it flipped Right, so we've got a tenon. So what I'll do now is just give it a basic show. I don't want to take too much away from it, but I want to give it a bit of a contour on the bottom. So. Cool pans, isn't it? It's lovely. The one, the only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It really stinks. It's not the the nicest smelling wood. Um. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of um, scallop in the outer edge. So I'll move you guys. To a different position just so you can see me scrub it out and then I'll move you back to when I when I put um dig the bowl out or gouge the bowl out as we say let's use the technical words so I'll move you guys now and uh, see you on the other side all right welcome back guys what I'll do is just gonna gouge out a little bit in the middle here now just give a bit of character not a lot just a little bit just to you know because I don't want people criticizing that it looks like a dog bowl um, <laughs> so um, yeah what I'll do is I'll just give it a little bit of character on the edge and uh, then we'll flip it. That's all I'm going to do guys is just a little bit of a contouring, I'm not going to go mad. So what I'll do now is I'll sand it. And we will sand it from 80 grit to 240 and see how it comes up and then we may go above that as well. So uh, let's just see how it comes up.
folks, I've sanded that now through to 240. And I think that is gonna be as far as I go, to be honest, because it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna give it a coat of the good old faithful Yorkshire grit, just to get any little score marks out of it. grain in there that changes colour. I don't know if you can see that as you turn it, it changes colour. Really cool. Because I want to bring the grain out, I'm going to give it a coat of friction polish to hopefully bring the grain really out and uh, enhance it as they say. Wow, look at that. What a beautiful shine and cool colours. See how it's changing colour. That is awesome. I've read a lot of reviews on zebra wood, say, people saying that it's really nice wood, and yeah, they're right, that is a real nice wood. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you back to the first location with the camera, and then I'm going to flip it, and then we'll get the bowl gouged out. So uh, I'll move you now. Say, folks, I am really impressed with the pattern in this wood. The only thing I don't like is the smell. But hopefully, once we get a coat of Yorkshire grit on it, it will neutralise the smell. So. piece of looking wood and you can see why it's called zebra wood as well because it looks like it and smells like it no I like it right we're gonna out the uh, lathe and I'll give you a better look look at the pattern in that that is stunning you can see why it's called zebra wood because it looks like zebra and it smells like zebra it's absolutely rank it stinks um, lovely piece of wood to turn you know what I mean the, the finish on it is great it's it, I don't know if it's as class I suppose it's classed as a hardwood but it didn't turn like a hardwood you I mean I've turned oak and other things and it didn't turn turned a lot easier than those so I don't know if it's classed as a hardwood but the thing I like about it is when you hold it in the light I don't know if you'll be able to see it but as you hold it in the light and then the light hits it it like changes it's strange to, to describe it's like changes colour it's, it's, it's really strange wood I think it's because it's so dense it's yeah I don't know it's it's hard to describe I'll try and get some pictures on the end to uh, 
to show you how it changes you know it changes the color but um, and if you see the lines each sort of color between the lines the dark lines sort of changes to independent colors to the earth it's, it's a strange wood it really is a strange wood but it's a beautiful wood as well and I'm really glad that I've left it so long to um, turn so I had a little bit more experience on the belt and I've, you know it's turned out really nice I do like it I suppose it's about I don't know seven and a half eight inches across by about three inches deep and um, we're a very big blank but no it's turned out really well I suppose you could put pot puree in it um, I don't know whatever you ladies put in stuff you know you know you have all this fancy stuff ain't got a clue what it's called but so anyway um, yeah nice little decorative bowl um, I'm really pleased how it's turned out so I hope you guys have liked it and obviously if you've liked then like and share please you know we, we need those likes and shares um, so yeah no I'm really happy I've done that and I hope you guys have enjoyed it this week um, a little bit of a short video I'm, I'm sure you guys won't be moaning about that because I don't want you you know I know some people don't like watching long videos so hopefully I'll be a little bit shorter um, so yeah you know I'm glad I've done it um, subscribers still same old overwhelmed with how you guys support me um, while you guys still enjoy watching what I do I still do it so um, thank you very much for the support and the channel is gradually growing which I'm really really appreciate like I said from I don't know three or four weeks ago that the I only expected to hit a hundred subscribers by the end of the year I think I started May June time was my first video so I didn't expect to be where I am now and I am so overwhelmed on how God, how people have followed me and how the support I get from other makers, um, whatever maker I contact, have always they always help. You I mean I've asked several makers certain questions because obviously I've been doing it a lot longer. Than I have, and not one of them has pushed me to one side and said, "Oh no, you got to sort it for yourself." They've always been there to help, and uh, I think the maker community is such a good community to be in. And I'm really grateful that I'm in it now. So, so no, so um, I hope you guys have liked. That. Anyway, too much of the waffle on and uh, rattling on. Let's get on. So that's the project for this week, um, there'll be a brand new project for next week, so I hope you guys have a great weekend, take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now.